My name is Joe Kennedy. I'm Carrie Kennedy. I'm Rory Kennedy. I'm Kathleen Kennedy Townsend. Chris Kennedy. And I'm here to proudly endorse Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Our future is on the ballot in a way in which we haven't seen in generations. The only way to win this election is for everybody to go out and vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. When I think of modern politicians in our country in this century, I think Joe Biden is the RFK of his generation. Stop it. Pretty unbelievable that the Kennedy family wouldn't endorse RFK Jr., one of their own. But that's how desperate Joe Biden is. This is a tale of two presidents, folks. Some people have it, some people don't. And I can say with 100% certainty that Donald Trump has it, and Joe Biden just doesn't. More importantly, the American voter knows that, too. Join me now to break down the stark differences between Donald Trump and Joe Biden it is former Housing and Urban Development Secretary and retired neurosurgeon, Dr. Ben Carson. Good to have you, Dr. Carson. So, you know, you, you, oh, in the last 48 hours, Biden goes to Scranton, no one shows up. In the Wawa, it's, it's scripted. People saying, go home, Joe. Trump goes to bodegas in Harlem and African Americans and Hispanics come out and all they want to do is chant four more years. Go Trump, go. Absolutely. The difference is night and day. And, you know, six months ago, I was talking to a group of Europeans and uh, their consensus was that uh, Joe Biden is a laughing stock. And uh, the, the, the part that they were concerned about is that he's the leader of the free world. And they were concerned about their own security going forward. Uh, it's a serious, serious problem. And I think that the Democrats know it, too. Uh, many of them are starting to admit it. But they recognize that we are in serious trouble. The world is aflame right now. Things that are going on in Ukraine, things that are going on in the Middle East, some things that are going on in Africa. Look at what's going on in our own country with crime in the inner cities. All of this is secondary to policy differences that were made. It makes a huge difference what kind of leadership you have, and right now we have none. Doctor, I'm talking to a neurosurgeon, one of the, one of the premier surgeons in, in, in the world, really, Dr. Ben Carson. Life expectancy for a male in America, I believe, is 79. Am I wrong? Uh, it's right around 80, yes. Okay, so 80 years old. Joe Biden's 81, soon to be 82, and if he gets reelected, 86 at the end of his term. Doctor, there's an old 80, 81, and there's a young 81. Uh, Joe, where would Joe Biden fall in that? It, it's a sliding scale, right? Where would he fall in that scale? Yeah, well, you accurately pointed out that there's such a thing as a chronological age, but there's also the physiological age. And that's the age that you act. And, uh, you know, Joe Biden acts way older than 81. And Donald Trump acts way younger than 77. And this is how you make a determination as to how long someone is likely to be around and how active they're going to be. So we have a very big contrast between the two. And it's dangerous for our country because there's so many issues going on that are critical right now. And I think a lot of the Americans are starting to wake up. Many of the traditional Democratic voters are actually starting to recognize that if we continue down this path, we're not going to survive. Uh, a lot of the young people are doing that. I've been at a lot of universities lately and been thrilled by the enthusiasm of, of the uh, young people. Last night I was at a university and they had to turn away hundreds of people. They couldn't get them all into the auditorium.